Hey, look at this. This is a snapping turtle. But look how small he is. Wow. This guy must be a fresh, ha fresh hatchling just this year. And he is tiny, tiny. That's like the size of a silver dollar, huh? It's cool to see him this small because usually when you see snapping turtles, they're huge. This guy, uh, this is the common snapping turtle. He's not the alligator snapping turtle. They get confused pretty often, especially when they're this small because the young ones like this have a pretty jagged shell, kind of like the alligator snapping turtles. And as they grow older, it kind of smooths out and wears down. But, well, this guy's wants to get out of here. Look at that. He's adorable, though. Look how tiny he is. It's amazing that this little tiny thing, it's so cute, is going to grow up to be this big monster in it. People are going to eat, apparently. People love to eat snapping turtles. But, uh, man, he's cool, isn't he? God, it's such a neat turtle. And it's nice to see one this size, too. We're going to go ahead and put him back in the swamp here. He was just kind of milling around the edge of the swamp. Hung around just a little bit too long. Let me get my hands on him. <laughs> but, uh, he can be in a video now, right? <laughs> We're going to put him back. Hey, have a look here. This is uh, this little painted turtle was crossing the road, and it's it's actually a female. I mean, you can feel for the dent on the bottom of the shell. That's one way. But uh, the way I know it's a female is because this is perfect time to find female turtles in general moving around because they're all moving to find places to to nest and to breed and stuff. And so she's trying to cross the road, probably to get to the water. There's just water on the other side of the road, and she's probably heading over there. But. It's not a very large one, really. I mean, she's a young adult. I would call it young adult. I mean, they get they get pretty much larger than this. You can see here on the back of her shell, she's got some... It's not real severe damage, but there's a chunk of her shell missing. And you can see it looks like it's pretty old damage because a lot of it's healed up and it's kind of starting to grow back a little bit. These guys uh, can actually take some pretty serious damage to the shell and they'll actually heal back up as long as, you know, they don't get infected or anything. And they'll actually be okay. She's neat. She's kind of bitey a little bit. These these uh, turtles usually have pretty bad attitudes, but she's not too crazy. She was clawing me a little bit right when we picked her up, but she's calmed down pretty much. She's just like the painted turtle that I had in that aquarium last year, except uh, a little bit bigger. You can see the shell is definitely a lot darker. It's a little bit caked with mud right now because she probably just came out of hibernation. But, uh, we got a car coming. see we're on a road that might have been her death had we not come you know who knows she was on her way across the road so it's hard telling wow she's got a little attitude now you can see it's a real pretty turtle though you can the the colorations that we saw in the uh, painted turtle i had back home are a little bit duller not quite as you know pretty as the little ones but as they age they tend to get like that we're gonna go ahead and turn her loose though that could have been her death too we're going to go ahead and uh, turn her loose, maybe put her on the other side of the road than, you know, the direction she was heading. All right, sweetheart. I'm trying to get run over by the cars, okay? 